So I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been releasing a lot of content on my channel recently, and that's because I'm all gas, no brakes. Surviving as a content creator and a designer in this day and age is damn near impossible. So if I'm gonna make it, I'm really gonna have to bring it to the next level. Because of 3D printing and the ease of design and all these fantastic tools that we have now in our modern age to make high quality things for ourselves. I mean, I'm recording right now on the TRV 900. This is an old video camera, but back when it was first made, it was a marvel of technology. And even now the construction of the internals of it is high level engineering. And so that's what's really so special is that with 3D printing and design software becoming more accessible to everyone, whereas before you'd have to go to the library or go to school to learn these things, you can actually just learn them on the internet. And so all of that serves the purpose of decoupling from the grid. You guys hear me rant a lot about these things and absolutely they should make you angry because they're mechanisms and systems that rob future generations of the joy and passion and career pathways and all all these good things that provide us with a sense of purpose in life and an optimistic path forward into the future. The American dream, you know, that's that's what's being robbed from our children. And, and yet just being angry does nothing. I also have to help the cause as well. And in talking to my friend, he let me realize that, hey, Dr. Quads, you're the kind of person that doesn't really need to subscribe to these systems. I don't need to be beholden to iFlight or GepRC to make my drone for me. I can freaking design it print it and make it myself. And that's really cool for me, but that's just for me. Then he said something that really struck me. He said, you know, what you could do is you could help other people as well decouple from the system. And the more people that decouple from the system, the less power the system has. And so then all my anger actually isn't just put into a fruitless, impotent rage. It's put into something that has real impact towards a forward, optimistic, advancement into the future. That really woke me up. Even though I've already decided to make all of my stuff for free, I'm doubling down on this notion of open sourcing everything I do. One of the reasons why I was hesitant to teach everyone everything that I know is because I gained this knowledge through blood, sweat, and tears. And when I look to a lot of these companies or a lot of these other pathways like YouTube or Radio Master, iFlight, when I look to them to back me up, I realized that I wasn't gonna be backed up. Instead, I was gonna be taken advantage of. And so that kind of caused me to retreat back within myself and to hoard up my knowledge that I've gained and think, okay, I need, I need to find a way to monetize this so I don't starve to death and my kids aren't hungry and, and all this bad stuff doesn't happen to me. I need to keep this close to the chest until I can get more popular or big enough or making enough money to where I can start giving out for free. And though there's nothing wrong with charging for the stuff that you do or the stuff that you know, I still think that that isn't the best way forward because at this point in time, all the dreams that's been stolen from us and stolen from our kids, these are done by very smart and very calculating people and they're not gonna be showing you any mercy. So we've gotta be merciless as well and willing to sacrifice for the greater good. And so today, I am very excited to show you guys what I've been working on and how I'm gonna now give it away and hopefully get an open source project going for because I don't wanna just do it myself, I wanna make it a community-based open source design that's going to absolutely shake up the entire FPV industry. So here we go guys, this is the DRX rail. And it may seem a bit unassuming at first because well, it's not done yet and that's what I need your help for. I want us to finish this together. Right off the bat, you can see that this slides off. So what will go right here is your flight controller. Now, HackRC just made an amazing flight controller that's a 20 by 20 that has pretty much everything you could imagine. I think it's an MP6000, but it's more than good enough eight inch down to a 2.5 inch whoop. So that's really great. You can use that on all of them. Then of course your air unit, which is probably the most expensive part of all of these drones. You don't need a whole bunch of them to have multiple drones. You actually can just have one for all of your drones, your GPS as well. And then of course your ELRS receiver, all of that will be housed on here. When you disconnect it, you take all of that and there'll be a cap and a top for this, right? You take all of that and hey, you could put it in your pocket and carry it over, whatever, you know, like this is gonna be portable and you could slap it on a 2.5 inch because the job that's gonna be paying you to do this, this video wants you to fly indoors next to people. And then suddenly they're like, hey, we have a driver out who's driving this car for the commercial that you're doing. Uh, he needs to go right now. And so you grab your X8 and you slap this on the X8 and you fly. Now, the reason why I believe this is gonna shake up the industry is because part of what sells FPV drones right now from companies like iFlight is producing crap, but cheap. 
people that fly FPV, they don't just want one drone. Just naturally, us flyers want to try different stuff. But if you're going to try different stuff, it means you got to buy a whole new setup every single time, or you just got to learn how to build it yourself. And not everyone has the mindset to build everything themselves, especially if you're building more than one drone. Oh man, that's a lot of work, right? And so iFlight gets away with their cheap crap designs because most people are going to buy multiple drones. So if one drone doesn't really do it for them, that's fine. They bought the Nazgul, which is a pretty good five inch, and they're happy with that. And that's how they really get away with it. In the future, in the DRX future, when we as a community open source this and create a like perfect version of this to where you can literally have one flight controller and one DJI Aero 3, one ELRS, one GPS, one camera for all of your drones, you'll no longer just be thinking about buying the cheapest thing out there. You'll actually start thinking, hey, since I only have one of these, let's make it as good as it possibly can be. Flight controller, gotta be using the new Hack RC flight controller. I'll be releasing the video soon for that. It's mind-blowingly good. Also, because you're saving a lot of money, you actually now can start having a little bit more premium motors, premium ESCs, premium frames, because you're pretty much cutting the cost of all your new drones by two thirds. I believe this is one of the ways that we can fight against the race to the bottom and why instead of just bitching about iFlight, I actually can make a positive difference. What's more than that is I'm not only going to give all this stuff away for free, I also want to start engaging with the community and teaching you guys what I know and how I know it and just trying to get as much knowledge into the hands of the people as possible. Because guess what? Since I started designing drones, I don't really need any company to put stuff together for me. With Blender and CAD Sketcher, it's so easy. I was a bit hesitant before to teach people how to do it because I thought that was my only way to market market my value because clearly these companies like Radio Master are not going to value me and it's really tough to get a Patreon going so maybe I can actually just like sell my services and teach people by charging them money and there's nothing wrong with that inherently but well I just I don't see that as the greatest good that I can do. Instead I can actually just put this into the hands of everyone and when everyone has this in their hands the market changes. I believe it then will actually start morphing into a more favorable environment for people like me to make make a living because now more people are thinking about high quality because when people have more firsthand experience with designing drones and building them, they then get a better appreciation for what quality really means and how to achieve that. And then they look at iFlight and say, wow, no wonder your drones are so crap because you don't put any love, heart, or dedication into it. So collectively, the FPV community's taste gets elevated. Well, simply put, people have a taste for more fine dining. And that's when people like me who own a fine dining restaurant actually start seeing more business, not less by giving my stuff away for free. Over on the Discord, I'm gonna make some channels where we can discuss the design of this. And of course, on Thingiverse, I'll put everything for free. I do think there needs to be some structure with the design. I want this to have like a standard like USB-C. Once we start working together as a community and we have like a, a, a commit line, almost like GitHub, to where this is the standard and if you want to build some accessories for it, you should follow this standard because this is going to be what most people are using. And so if we have that kind of structure to this, but that it's still open source and anyone can contribute, I believe we're going to have something truly special, way more cool than what I can do by myself. Follow the description down below. Join the Discord. I mean, if you if you want to do it on your own and you just want to follow your own path, I mean, go ahead. The files will be up on Thingiverse, also in the description. But please, guys, I think that it's going to be really beneficial if we work together on this. I hope and I am willing to do what it takes to see this design absolutely shake up the FPV industry and save all of us flyers a lot of money and open up new pathways and new doors to people trying new things. Guys, this is Dr. Quads. Make sure to like and subscribe, but most importantly, join the Discord description down below because I want to start getting discussion about how we can all work together to make this thing happen as soon as possible. This is Dr. Quads. I'll catch you next time.